Why do we need alternative energy? Hello, welcome to Energy Warden. My name's Wayne. We'll also be we'll also be discussing what fossil fuels have done to the climate and the environment. What's the future of alternative energy? And can we make the earth a much better place? We'll find out all of this and much more very shortly. But if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Right. Let's get to the video now. Why do we need alternative energy? Global warming and climate change are issues that we need to take care of today during our lifetimes if we love our children, our grandchildren and others to be born after them. As far as we are concerned there is not much for us to worry about as the world will go on and we have our water resources intact for now. We do not have to wear a pollution prevention masks whilst we step out of our homes. We don't need to be in darkness without the luxury of electricity etc. among many other good things which we are enjoying today. Imagine our great 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 grandchild and that is just five generations away and probably one and a half centuries hence what would the world be if the changes that are happening around us in little doses are not taken care of now. Global warming would melt the glaciers of ice in the north and south poles and assuming that all the ice melts which of course would not happen during our lifetime the sea is estimated to rise about 216 feet which would inundate all the shipping ports of the world. As this would not happen in our lifetime the most pertinent question we could ask ourselves is, why do we bother? Probably that is what President-elect Donald Trump of the United States of America thinks too. Yes. It is fine, but what would happen to the many generations to follow? Some cities with New Delhi the capital of India topping the list as the most polluted city in the world are having polluted matter far above the permissible limits declared by the World Health Organization WHO. And if this could happen in the Indian capital there is no reason why it cannot happen in the city we live to. The disaster that took place at the Fukushima nuclear power plant on the 11th of March 2011 spewed radioactive rain particles in most other neighboring cities and countries as well. Hence pollution of the environment would not be limited to just that particular city and the skies above it, but affect all others too. Why do we need alternative energy? The issue of climate change and global warming is a problem for humanity and has to be treated so, and the international community should initiate and put in place a comprehensive program to arrest the situation and make the world a cleaner and greener place for our future generations. If you take a look at the reasons behind global warming, you will notice that fossil fuel play a major role. That's where you need to take a look at the need of renewable energy. Renewable energy to arrest climate change. We have dug deep into the earth seeking coal, oil and gas, when we need to just look up and find an economically viable method of harnessing the sun's energy to serve our energy requirements. We have been dependent on fossil fuels for too long, whilst the sun which is just about 150 million kilometers away, and the primary source of life on our planet, rains down an abundance of energy which could meet all our power needs and also solve our pollution problems until eternity. Therefore, it is the high time for us to think about replacing our main source of energy with an alternate energy source. According to a United Nations Development Program study conducted recently on ways to arrest climate change, it has been estimated that the sun disperses about 50,000 exagels of energy per annum. If you are still not convinced on why we need renewable energy, you can keep on reading. Then you will be convinced on how renewable energy can benefit the planet we live in without causing any major issues. Comparing this gigantic and colossal amount with the world's present energy needs, one could wonder what we have been doing all these years without making use of this clean, green and renewable energy source stepping at our doorstep every day. The world needs just a minuscule 560 exajoules of energy per annum, and if we could turn upwards to the sun and harness its energy resources which are free and available at no cost, we could make our resplendent earth clean and green again. Why do we need alternative energy? We have been developing our technology to harness this free and abundant source, but the research and development have been moving at snail's pace. Harnessing solar energy does not require any moving parts hence whilst we harness the energy the cost of wear and tear is minimal or negligent. Solar panels could be bulky contraptions, which are why they are not as popular as diesel generators of coal power plants, and the few solar farms being developed around the world need extensive real estate space to house them, but the learned scientists of the world have to find a way out of this predicament and bring out the solutions. After all necessity is the mother of invention, and the world is at a very crucial crossroad to see that we protect our environment and arrest the global warming and climate change phenomena and make our planet a safer place for our generations to follow. The most convenient method available for us to tackle this change is to start using renewable and green energy sources. It can definitely take us forward and make this world a healthy place for everyone to live for a long period of time. 
we owe it to them, and we have to make a concerted effort now, if we are to turn away from our dependence on fossil fuels, and bring clean and green energy into our lives and those of our children. You also know why do we need renewable energy. Why do we need alternative energy? It is the high time to adopt according to the change, and if all of us think about replacing fossil fuels with renewable energy sources, we will be able to make this world a much better place. Well, loads of information there, I think you'll agree. I hope you've enjoyed it, if so, please give it a like and subscribe, and let's have a look at one of my other videos. Choose one of these and I'll see you there. Cheers!